Let's talk about a time that you were working with a cartridge needle, whatever cartridge needle that was, but it was just like a complete disaster or super hard for you to figure out. So I, this is when I was like a little bit newer. So I already didn't have a good knowledge of needles. <laughs> so that was already, I was doomed from the start. So I tried to use an 11U on a client and it, it saturated so fast, y'all. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I was not ready. I was like, this is so bad. I was like, okay, yeah, I got to practice some more. I had to switch needles. It was too much for me. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was too much for me. I had, so I had this client that I needed to take um, like at the end of my day. And I thought because she was a new client, she had no hair, it would be fine. Like I, I assumed I knew what I was doing. And then I, I got started. I did what I felt like needed to be done and nothing. I, I started off with, um, I'm not going to lie, I started off with a 0.25. What? Why? Why did you do that? Because she wanted, the way she kind of came at it was like, I, this is what I do. I have no hair and her shape was already super thin. Like actually she had no hair, but what she drew on was so thin. And the color she used was like literally taupe blonde and naturally like her hair color is like super dark. I'm like, well, that's quite interesting. I let her know, like, I'm going to, the color I'm going to tattoo on you is not going to be this light. However, it also won't be super dark. Um, so I just kind of came up with doing 0.25 and like a darker color. I get started on her and I'm like, well, this 0.25 is not working. Let me try to, <laughs> let me, is it my color? So like after like trying to do a couple passes, it just didn't, it just wasn't giving what it was supposed to. So I'm like, let me try to like deepen the color. I add a little bit of color in there. I'm like, okay, well, hello, it's probably my needle. So I upped it to a 0.3 and <laughs> I to do, I, no, nothing was working. So I'm like, well, maybe it's my color because I kept, I was, I felt like maybe I'm trying to be too, like conservative with not wanting to go too dark because she wants such light brows. Like I was too afraid to really deepen it so fast. So I like went by increments of adding a little bit of bitter chocolate <laughs> and it just wasn't, her skin wasn't taking anything. Um, then from this, I'm just going to say like, I don't do this all the time. <laughs> like, very very rare instance like uh so i thought that the point three wasn't working so i i then went for r7 and <laughs> i was like this will do right. um even like after changing colors and speeds like it was i was afraid so i, I went in I'm like, this is gonna work, this has to work. I'm gonna go slow. I'm gonna try to be very precise and make my strokes super crisp because at this point, like going over so many times, you're just, it scared me, yeah, right? Like, and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so, you know, I, the whole service took me about three and a half hours, which was fine, but the seven ended up working. But I will say no, after talking really? about, yeah, it worked. After so many tries, like I don't know what to say. No, like I know it's going to work. Like, I, I, I made it. Like, at that point, I'm like, this is this is this is what's happening, and we're just gonna. You're like, I'll see out. you at your second session. I'll see you. I'll see you in eight weeks. Um, but yes, yeah, so. I, no, I would have used the micro blade. I mean, when that happens to me, I just whip out a blade. Like if none of the needles are taking in their skin, I'm like, yeah. okay, well then they must need a blade because the needle is not doing anything. I was just so afraid. Mm -hmm. I mean, that did cross my mind, but I, like, you know, I thought if I did that over everything that was already kind of like implanted, I felt like her skin might just explode. Like, I don't know. Like, it might just like, <laughs> like Can my you mom. imagine a client just I laying there? Like, the like, 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 imagine going over with the needle and you're like, nothing's staying, but you see the redness. You see right. that irritation. Yeah. Right. And my mom, like, if I pull out a microblade, like, <laughs> I just slice something up and it'll 
<laughs> so yeah. I got scared. I got scared of the microblade, but definitely that will be something I'm going to do when she comes back for her touch up. Cause I'm already knowing she even, you know, she just, she texted me and was like, Hey, just checking in. Cause I like for them to check in or something every now and then she's like, just checking in. Like, am I on track? And I'm like zooming in. Like, it looks about right. <laughs> So, you know, I didn't like not lying or anything, but yeah, yeah. you're about right. That looks about right. Like, I'll see you in eight weeks. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that Don't was... call us, we'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me, I'll call you. <laughs> well, okay, so let me think about my time. Okay, so a time when um, something was a lot more challenging. I think mine was with a Magnum. So it was the first time I used a mag and same thing. Like it sat, it saturated so well. And I just knew when she came back because of, you know, how fast it saturated and the way the strokes looked and everything. First off, I was making double lines in her skin on accident. I was like, oh my gosh, oh. the angle was off. Cause it's, it was different on the practice pack cause it's flat. So, you know, now I'm mature. So, and then it was like, once you get to where, you know, when you're moving straight, it's easier. But once you start to get to the point where you got a curve, it was like, oh man. It's like, I was that making curve, like an L. Like, I was balance. Like, it was straight in the split end, straight. right? Like it gives split ends. When you get to that time, yes. you're like, yes. Yes. <laughs> so I was like, oh man. So um, I would just like, work on like the tip of one needle like when I got to the curve and then when I got to the end the rest of the the stroke I would like go back to using all the blades I mean all the pins and then um when it healed there was like almost no saturation I was and and at one point I used to post mag work and then all of a sudden I just stopped completely people would ask me like you never posted it I was like yeah because there wasn't anything to show it. when it yeah. healed it was all gone I was like you know what I'm not ready for this. No. I need more practice first so, yeah the all of the larger configurations are like a little bit they take some time like they're not easy to just you know like you're just gonna pick it up all out of the blue it'll it, it takes more time than just like picking it up for the first time so 